Product descriptions should be written to improve conversions by creating an emotional connection with users and enticing them to take action. It's a known fact that evoking any emotion is better than not evoking emotions at all. While most people only skim descriptions, if you carefully craft the first sentence to be engaging enough, you will increase the chances of making a sale. The best product descriptions are written by copywriters who have familiarity with the product and some basic SEO training, and not by SEOs with some copywriting skills. Check out this swimsuit description. It doesn't read like the classic SEO style you're used to, isn't it? It's a lot of work to write converting product descriptions, and therefore you may be tempted to skip it. However, the good news is that many of your competitors will not invest in great product descriptions for the same reason. You can capitalize on their mindset and start differentiating your brand and gaining SEO advantage at the same time. Prominently display a brief product copy crafted to sell the benefits of the product, which is known as the benefits copy, in an easy to spot place on the product page. You can complement it with a more detailed product copy that describes the product features, which is also known as the features copy. And you can display this on a less important area of the page. Try to incorporate the following into the copy. Product related keywords such as SKU numbers, UPC numbers, catalog numbers, IBANs, part numbers, and so on. The root form of the words used in the product name, as well as variations and synonyms. The product name and other names the product might be known by. Doing this will be important not only for search engines, but for your internal site search as well, given that the site search uses multiple data sources to score and rank items. So, review your analytics data. Incorporate frequently searched queries into your product descriptions and use the same queries to feed your internal site search database. In this image, section 1 focuses on benefits, while section 2 lists the product features. The layout of the PDP allows the features copy to follow immediately below the benefits copy, which is ideal but not always possible due to design constraints. In many cases, the page layout allows room for only one or two sentences with a link to a section down the page for more detailed product info, for instance in tab navigation. As you can see in this screenshot, tab navigation allows space for longer product descriptions. Tab navigation is a very common design element on PDPs, but there are some concerns about how search engines treat content that is not available to users, for example, in non-active tabs, in accordions, in read more dropdowns, or in collapse and expand sections. Search engines will index this content, but they don't assign the same weight to content that is not visible to users. In the past, Google suggested that text hidden for design purposes is fine, as long as you don't hide too much content with too many links. But what that means is that this technique is not really considered spam. However, coming mobile first indexing, the content behind tabs will be assigned the same weight as visible text. You can create separate URLs for each tab, but that would decrease the overall content on the product detail page, and this is not a good idea. Moreover, the user experience is better if the tabs can be switched quickly without reloading the page. An interim solution until mobile first indexing is rolled out for your website is to display the entire product description without any expand, collapse, or tabs. Search engines seem to prefer this, but design limitations introduce constraints. In this example, you can see a well written product description that is fully visible without any parts of the content behind tabs or read more. This is also a very good example of how a boring product can have a great description. If you want to use tabs to make the user experience more pleasant, consider the following. 
Display the product description or the other more important content in the default active tab. If search engines can understand which content is hidden and which one is not, then putting the most important content in the default tab increases the chances of getting more out of it. In this example, the product description tab is the default active tab and is accessible when bots request the page. Additionally, the implementation uses hash marks to switch between tabs, which means that the content of the specs and reviews tabs is already loaded in the HTML code. Don't generate separate URLs for each tab unless the information provided is substantial enough to justify creating a new page. If you want the content inside the tabs to be indexed, make sure it's available with JavaScript disabled. If the tabs contain the same boilerplate text on all product detail pages, you can put the repetitive text in an iframe to avoid duplicate content issues. Consider placing user reviews outside the tab navigation. Product descriptions are one of the best spots to feature internal contextual links. Ideally, you will link to parent categories in the same silo, but you can also link to other related products that make sense for users. Because internal links may be taking users away from the product page, you should balance internal linking and conversion. If you're not careful, product descriptions can generate duplicate content either within your own website or on external websites. The general SEO wisdom is that you should write your own unique product descriptions. That is indeed one of the best approaches to optimizing PDPs if you can put it in practice. But keep in mind that this doesn't work with every product or within every industry. For example, it makes sense to write unique product descriptions for expensive wristwatches, but not for ordinary pencils. Also, this is often not economically feasible for websites with large inventories. Moreover, in some cases, Google ignores the product description and chooses to rank what's best for users based on their intent and location. So, while unique product descriptions may not always rank at the top, you still have to test the impact of writing 100 to 200 word product descriptions at scale before deciding whether it will work to your advantage. Start with your top 10% most important items, write the descriptions for conversions and branding, then measure the impact on rankings and traffic. I know at least two websites that were able to rank for very competitive keywords by creating unique and very compelling product descriptions. Because more than 90% of the pages on those websites were PDPs, they drove up the relevance of the entire website. Those two websites rank now with almost no backlinks pointing to them. If the generic description provided by the manufacturer or supplier is just a small part of the main content on a page, it should be fine according to Google. If the manufacturer requires you to keep their descriptions unaltered and that causes SEO problems, place each description in iframes with a no index in the frame source. In this case, you will need to add unique content to differentiate your website from others.